हेलो एंड वेलकम बैक सो ट्रांसफॉर्मर्स आर द बैक बो नो नॉट दिस फिक्शन वंस वी वॉन्ट सम रियल लाइफ ट्रांसफॉर्मर्स दैट सर्व मोर देन सुपर हीरोज इन प्रैक्टिकल लाइफ बाय सेविंग यू फ्रॉम टू ट्वेंटी वोल्ट मेन सप्लाई और बेसिकली आइसोलेटिंग यू बट एनी वेज ट्रांसफॉर्मर्स आर द बैक बोन ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स एंड इलेक्ट्रिकल वेदर इट बी नॉर्मल स्टील शीट ट्रांसफॉर्मर्स और फेराइट कोल्ड ट्रांसफॉर्मर्स ए के पल्स ट्रांसफॉर्मर्स so let's fix the backbone first by learning about transformers in detail so let's get started the main focus will be on multi winding transformers but we will briefly understand the basics of the transformer first transformers in real life cannot transform themselves as the optimus prime or the bumblebee does but anyways transformers are devices that convert electrical energy to magnetic energy or flux and then back to electrical energy the main purpose of transformer is to step down a voltage for example from 20, 230 volt mains to 17.5 volt or 230 to 34 volts and so on this is called bucking of voltage they also boost the voltage which means step up or for example from 17 volts to 230 volts the main advantage of transformers is that they provide isolation or galvanic isolation between the primary side and the secondary side or the main supply and u for understanding transformers better we must understand the flux density the magnetization permeability and the hysteresis curve and much more but there are already a lot of videos about that so in this video we will delve into multi winding transformers but before that we need to understand the real model of transformers which is quite necessary to understand the transformers real life model looks something like this where r1 and r2 represents the winding resistance of primary and secondary which results in copper losses and which are quite less than other losses xl1 and xl2 represents the leakage inductance which depend on the coupling factor and causes the back emf to be precise though the windings are tightly coupled the coupling factor is never 100% there are always some leakage losses which means the primary flux never entirely reaches the secondary flux there are always some leakages finally the ro and xo are the core losses that are eddy current and hysteresis losses hysteresis losses come into picture when the core saturates or begins to saturate which means the core heats up too much and can cause a catastrophe so in order to save the core from saturation we must not exceed the kva rating by applying a load that draws more current than the rated secondary current secondly the eddy current losses can be prevented by using laminated sheets or a varnish in our multi winding transformer we have a lot of inputs to choose from as well as we can get a lot of output or variable outputs basically when we look at the primary section of the transformer 0 to 220 volt is by default our main supply in our homes whereas the 380 volts and 415 volts are normally for industrial applications for three phase now looking at the output section we can see that it consists of a 15 volt as well as 30 volt which means 15 015 where 0x as the center tape so we can get 15 volts as output 30 volt as output we can also get 36 volt as output which is isolated from 15 015 and we can also get 27 volt output and finally 9 volt output which is the difference between 36 and 27 finally i hooked up my oscilloscope probe to the output terminal which was 0 to 15 volts and bam the waveform is perfect sine wave and due to some interference between oscilloscope and my cam the waveform looks a bit jittery but anyways 
that's all you need to know about transformers before you start to work with it anyways transformers is a huge topic and we will cover it in later videos first of all thanks for watching and what are you waiting for hit the bell icon and stay tuned for more videos like this